Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on current affairs wherein we are going to cover the most important news of the first week of March 2022. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine continued in its second week. The Russian assault continued on the Ukraine uh, Ukrainian territory across several cities. Two rounds of talks between Russia and Ukraine remained inconclusive and the west and european union continued with sanctions against russia several business groups also started severing ties with the russian entities wherein elon musk also activated the starlink broadband services in ukraine talking about the efforts by the indian government to evacuate its citizens from the war torn country under the operation ganga four central ministers were also sent to different locations to help in the evacuation government also pressed indian air force services to help evacuate indian nationals from the war torn ukraine according to the government sources indian nationals have been evacuated from the city of kyiv and all steps are being taken to ensure all the indian nationals are evacuated in the coming days while continuing with his appeal to the world leaders to stop russia uh, ukraine's president zelensky sought immediate membership of the european union world's largest plane antonov 255 was also destroyed in the russian strikes whereas the europe's largest power plant which is located in ukraine's zaporizhia was captured by the russian forces last friday The Russian Foreign Minister Sergey Lavrov threatened that if a third world were to take place it will definitely involve nuclear one and will be destructive. Ukraine has also filed before the International Court of Justice to institute proceedings against the Russia. Ukraine accuses Russia of falsely claiming that acts of genocide have occurred in the Luhansk and Donetsk oblast of Ukraine. the effect of the conflict between the two countries is also been seen on the crude the global benchmark crude rose to 113 dollar per barrel as sanctions hit russia brent which accounts for 50% of the globally traded oil was last seen at this level in 2014 india's crude cost also shot up by Two dollar per barrel to one hundred and two dollar per barrel. The Indian economy is expected to grow slower as the impact of COVID nineteen hurts the expansion. The rising inflation and Ukraine war are likely to even impact the recovery. According to the data released by the National Statistical Office (NSO). economy is to grow by 8.9% in 2021-22 fiscal year against the initial forecast of 9.2%. In the previous year the Indian economy contracted by 6.6% owing to covid-19 pandemic. Manufacturing construction slowed the growth while the services which accounts for 60% of the gdp remained steady. in a important judgment the supreme court ruled that advocates as officers of the court can act like judges and can be asked by the district magistrate to take control of defaulting borrowers assets for handing over to secured creditors under surface act earlier the bombay high court had ruled that such a move was illegal as advocates are not subordinate to the courts however The apex court said that an advocate is a guardian of constitutional morality and justice equally with the judge and he has an important duty as that of a judge the securities and exchange board of india got its first female chairperson in madhavi puri butch she took the office as the new chairperson of sebi after the 
after the term of Ajay Tyagi, the earlier chairperson, ended on 1st of March 2022. Madhabi is also the former head of ICICI Securities and had served on the SEBI board between 2017 and 2021. She is the first woman to head SEBI and she has also been the first woman member of SEBI and also the first from the private sector to do so. Assam government on 1st of March declared the entire state as a disturbed area, paving the way for extension of the Armed Forces Special, Protection, uh, Special Powers Act for another six months. The act in the state of Assam was last renewed on 28th of August 2021. AFSPA, which is again under debate, gives special powers to the security forces to conduct operations in those disturbed areas anywhere and to also arrest without a warrant. Clamor grew against AFSPA when a botched up army operation in Nagaland's Moon district resulted in death of 14 civilians last December. If we look at the state of Assam, the ASFA was first imposed in 1990 when the state was battling violence by Ulfa against security forces and civilians. And the state was given the powers in 2017 by center to decide on further extension of the act. In a landmark move, the United Nations agreed to create world's first ever global plastic pollution treaty. At a recently held UN Environment Assembly in Nairobi, 193 nations adopted the resolution to create plastic pollution treaty by 2024. This treaty, once adopted, is likely to hit the oil and chemical companies making raw plastic. Currently, the world generates 300 million tons of plastic waste annually, out of which 11 tons ends in oceans. The Honorable Supreme Court last week rejected the Maharashtra State Backward Classes Commission's recommendation to restore 27% reservation for OBCs in local body polls. Last year, the Supreme Court had stayed the quota for the OBCs in local body polls and ha had asked the state government to set up a commission. While hearing the matter, the court observed that the report prepared by the commission lacks empirical study and research by the commission and then rejected the recommendation given by the commission formed by the state. Maharashtra state is likely to take legal recourse against this judgment. India successfully tested Kavach, which is an indigenously developed ATP system by Research Design and Standard Organization, RDSO, in collaboration with Indian industry and was put to test with railway minister on board a train. Kavach, which is an anti-collision device, is meant to provide protection by preventing trains to pass through the signal at danger and thus avoiding the collusion. It activates the train braking system automatically if the driver fails to control the train as per the speed restrictions. In addition to this, Kavach also prevents collision between two locomotives which are equipped with functional Kavach system. The Union Minister of Railways inspected the trial of Kavach and during the trial, the head-on collision situation was created as both the locomotives were running towards each other. The system initiated the automatic braking system and halted the locomotives three meters up, 380 meters apart from each other. That were the most important events of the first week of March 2022. To subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to receive regular updates.